Hello everybody, my name is Script Version 9 and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now today we're going to be reviewing another scout rifle, and this scout rifle is the NA3D1 Salvation State. Now as you know, just, just today, I reviewed the Mida Multitool, and I gave that a think of 4.5. So let's see how the Salvation State fares against Mida. Let's see if this is actually better or worse. We're going to be going into Rumble again, just to, just to keep this fair with all the weapons. So yeah, let's do this. Now, in my opinion, I think I have got the best perks here. You definitely want full auto on any scout rifle. Then the second perk, you can really have anything. I've gone with crowd control just in case if there is a group of people, which I'm, I'll, at least if I get the first kill, I'll be doing a lot more damage. And then for the second perk, I've got the hand laid stock, which basically just increases the stability to give it this ridiculous stability here. So yeah, we should be learning to the game now, and I'll, I'll talk to you again when I'm in the game. So yeah, goodbye. The dungeons, eh? Okay. I've played on this map once, and it's actually pretty unique. It's got a lot of flanking routes. It's just... I think this map is pretty decent, even though I haven't played on it that much. And it's in the Dreadnought. So, yeah. We're going into Oryx's domain. Yeah. This is going to be cool. Yeah, I like this. Some people have got some weapons that I haven't seen. Hopefully, I get killed by them just so I can see what it is. Yes, I want to get killed. Oh. First of all, this gun looks really decent, actually. I really like this blue. It looks actually really decent. Okay. It doesn't actually fire that fast. It really doesn't. It, it, that, they, that actually doesn't fire that fast. Let's have a look. Yeah. I can fire Mida faster than that, and Mida hasn't got full auto. A 13-round clip isn't that good. Okay. Not, not a great start, actually. Really not a great start. This doesn't fire that fast. Low magazine size. I'm going to have to aim and pick my shots. Just like that one there. I think it did about 30 damage on a body shot, which a Mida does 50. Yeah. This, this really hasn't got off to a great start, has it? 41, actually. Okay. It's, that's, that still actually doesn't do that much damage. Yeah, I cannot out-damage Fawn. The nerfed Fawn, by the way. Hmm. Okay. Okay, looks like I'm, I am going to have to pick my encounters with this thing. I'm going to have to flank people and basically think a lot more smart using this gun. Right. It's going to be fun. I like this crystal because he's got a wizard in. See? Look. Looks like a really weird wizard. Look. That looks quite... I should probably stop caring about the wizard in the rock and actually start killing an enemy, shouldn't I? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so 61 damage on a headshot. Oh, yep. No, never winning that encounter. Okay. Right. Yeah, this, this isn't the greatest start, really, is it? This gun doesn't seem that good, in my opinion. It really doesn't. But that's just now. This could become a lot better. Oh, Lord of Wolves. Okay, yeah. No I was ever going to win that with any gun. Lord of Wolves literally just... Shr oh. There's a lot of snipers going on this match. Oh, crap, yeah, there's a lot of snipers. Okay, come back, guy, come back. Yeah, really, this isn't the biggest clip ever, is it? It real 13 shots, I'd say, isn't enough for two targets. Making the don't making the crowd control kind of useless. Okay, so maybe get something other than crowd control. Because if you, if you get nothing but body shots, you're going to have no ammo left. Crap, yeah, can not out-damage the messenger either, okay. Really not liking this gun. I'm really not. It doesn't seem like the greatest, in my opinion. I think this corridor right here is going to be quite good. It's got corners and, oh, crap, Monte Carlo. Okay. But I think that corridor there is going to be quite good. It's got a corner. It's got a quite nice view site. And it looks like heavy ammo spawning in. It's going to make this a lot harder for me. Pick that up just so nobody else can use it. I'm not going to use it, of course. Looks like someone's trying to flank us, maybe. Okay. Cup special, even though I really don't need it. I'm not finding anyone now. There's a guy in here. That's probably a grenade to start off with. And he's pointing. Oh, crap. Okay. Tomorrow's answered. Tomorrow's answered. Yeah. Tomorrow's answered, guys. Tomorrow's answered. Are staying in this room here? There you go. Look at that. Okay. Now, I didn't actually use the full auto there. I actually just kept pressing the trigger. Like a gun without full auto. And it seems to fare just a little bit better. So let me try that for, for the next couple of people. Like not using the full auto. Hmm. 
Oh, crossfire, okay. Come on, guy, pop your head out. Run out of ammo already, this is bad. I have to pick my shots. There you go, nice. Okay. I shut someone down, that's quite nice. But yeah, if you don't use the full auto on this thing, it actually seems a lot better. It really does. I I'm literally just spamming the trigger, and I think still, that's... What the hell is happening? Okay. I really don't know what happened there, I really don't. I just saw someone over there by the special. So let's let's watch out for this encounter. There you go. Oh, crossfire, great. People keep stealing my kills. Yeah, that sniper doesn't seem the best, does he? Looks like there's another guy to my left. Oh, that was lucky, okay. That was lucky. No, I'm not going to attack damage this. Yep, god damn. God, okay. Yeah. I'm just going to get no bomb instantly, aren't I? Get back here. What the? I hate warlocks. I hate warlock jumps with a passion. If it isn't blink, it's glide, which then you're never going to be able to play dance. God. I do hate warlock jumps so much. There's a guy in the middle. There you go. I've about damaged him that time, and it looks like there's a sniper across there. Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. Kill me. <laughs> I forgot I was reviewing a weapon and not reviewing um, that thing, yeah. Yeah, the rules are, by the way, if you don't know, I, I can only use the primary grenades and melee. I cannot use any secondaries or heavies. That's just the rules I have set in place, just to make this fair. Okay, get shut down. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, I've only got three shots left. No, can't take him out. If I had one more shot, I could have took him out. Yeah, the magazine size on this thing really lets it down. It really does. That's a golden gunner. Should probably be careful of that. Hello? Oh, crap. He's still alive. And he got me. And then, of course, as soon as it runs out, his, his golden gun runs out. I mean, as soon as I get killed, his golden gun runs out. Yeah, that's English. I spawned right next to him. That doesn't seem fair. But, yeah, I still wreck him, apparently. Okay. Right. Hmm. I'm actually starting to get used to this gun just a little bit. So, in my opinion, don't get full auto on this thing. But that's just me. Because it seems actually a lot better without the full auto. Which sounds really stupid, I know, but I think it is better without the full auto. I really do. The full auto just literally, it wrecks the stability. Even though it may not look like it wrecks the stability, when, when you try and run any range, it really just puts off your aim. Yep. Cannot, cannot take out the messenger. Yes, yeah, so it looks like pull shovels may actually be a problem for this salvation sake. Yeah. And I spawned pretty close to him again. Oh, that's a radiance. Yep, shouldn't even try to try to take that fight, should I? That was a very bad plan on my part. And the game's over, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to think of the rain for this gun. It's good, but also not good. I really don't know what to say about this gun, I really don't. It's, yeah, it's good. Just, yeah, I really don't have any words for this gun, I really don't. Oh, I get a sniper. Look at that. Look at that. So good. So good. The NA3D1 Salvation State. Save yourself to save them all. Full Auto. This weapon can be fired in Full Auto mode. Hand lays stock. Increased ability. Reduced range. Explosive rounds. Volatile payload. Explodes on impact. Dealing a portion of the weapon's damage in an area. High calibre rounds. Oversized rounds. Built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Their mass makes a weapon harder to handle. Crowd control. Kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time. Now... Me actually making a score for this weapon is actually quite difficult. Because I didn't use the full auto on there. I literally just spammed the trigger. So I really don't know what to rate this weapon. Because in my opinion, Maida is a better gun than this. It really is. This just lets it down literally at, at nearly any range with the full auto. But then as soon as I stopped using the full auto, I, I think this gun became a lot better. So I'm actually going to rate this gun a 3.5. One one number below the Mida score, which was 4.5. And that's frankly because I didn't use one of the perks on that. I didn't use the full auto. But maybe if you get a different roll of this, maybe get something like third eye here. Then maybe this gun would become a lot better. So yeah, I rate this gun 3.5. And I think that is a fair rating. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.